All right. How are we doing, guys? Welcome back to our bro- uh, podcast. Um, I hope you have an amazing week. Uh, and, and I hope um, you are living your life as an individual. I hope you're not uh, following the crowd. And I hope you're doing your own research. And I also hope um, that you don't believe everything I say and you do again your own research, right? And I see a lot of things happening right now. And personally, I am um, not a crowd pleaser or a crowd follower. So, um, I don't really tend to or enjoy your indulging complaining. Complaining from com- complaining is um, discarded in um, many things, like from um, you order some food and something that you expect is not the same. It's not. It's not what you expected, and you quickly run to say, oh, but this is not as good as the last time, you know, or this is not as good as Mr. whatever other place you ordered from. And it could get down to um, complaining as in gossip, as you talk about someone, or you talk about something, or you talk about an experience, or you choose to talk um, about things that you heard, you know. People uh, easily, because they uh, have emotions for other people, they easily um, tend to just um, continue the gossip without uh, making any research. Like, I've got nothing against anyone personally. Um, but I can say that um, going out of your way to do something to please the, cr- the crowd, it would only come and hunt you personally. Because um, you have the obligation to yourself to live as a free spirit, right? And um, once you come out of your way to um, prove something to someone or, or to make someone happy, you're not that free spirit anymore and, and you're losing, right? So personally, I, I, I suggest and I recommend that you try not to please anyone. Try not to go outside and clap for anyone. People, all they're doing is their jobs, you know? If if I had a job and and I'm continuing it with you guys every day, I'm training you mentally, uh, physically, um, nutritionally, and I said mentally first because everything starts in your mind, and my mind and everyone's mind. If I start a gossip now, and I start speaking with a lot of enthusiasm like this, I would make you believe, you know? That's how Hitler created his own army. And they, they said, uh, you know what, we have to make sure that people like him never happen again. And now what happens, you know, the the uh, things that we study and we learn in schools is not things that we should be studying and learning in schools. I've got nothing against the system because I do not believe in the system, you know. There is no system that should fit two people, you know. All should be, if there's a system that should fit two people, if it's the whole entire generation of people, of humanity, and it's called the system of love, it's not a system, it's, a, it's something that should come naturally from within. Okay, we're not forcing it. I'm not forcing you to listen to me. You're listening to me if you want to. If you don't want to, if you're not um, resonating with what I'm saying at this time, at this moment in time, then you're free free to go and come back later when you're free to listen, you know, like, when, when that voice, inner voice inside of you calls you and says, you know, it's time for you to start listening again. Well, all, all I'm saying is, this is a journey, it's a beautiful journey. Why change it, you know? Why, why become, why become um, something that you're not? Why, why push yourself to be 
something that you never was meant to be you know we are we are so educated today but not in in touch with ourselves you know we know so much and we know nothing you know we know so much that we are only sick we are, we know everything about the sickness of this world we know everything about the gossip we know everything about the correspondence and the and the the, the statistics Every one of us knows how to do statistics. Every one of us, uh, one of us is an expert in, in, in how many people die and how many people are get born. And, and none of us really know what we're talking about. All right? There's a couple of people that do. A couple of people in finances that know how to read statistics. A couple of people in medicine. But not the people that, not the doctors, not your GPs. People that really do this research. The real chemist, you know, the real biologic. Bi biologists those people know what they're talking about but no we, we we're following the crowd you know and we believe everything and some of some people have the power of convincing and if you don't believe them they get abusive and aggressive you know because we have to believe them because they know but poor them they don't they don't and why should you or, or obey anyone you're, you're not you you wasn't meant and it wasn't given the opportunity to live on this platform to obey anyone. I'm not saying to go out there and disobey the law. What I'm saying, live freely as a person. And it's okay, it's totally fine. You can, you can, you can always close uh, what I'm saying and you can go your way. But um, you know I'm right and your soul is like, I would like to do that, but, 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 but. Because that's where we start with, but or if you know we have all these buts and ifs and we can't get around them because it's my family, it's my kids, it's my sister, my son, my whatever you know we have all of them. You know we never really have the courage to say you know what, instead of saying that it's them, I should accept and say it's me. And it is every one of us, right? So, personally, I recommend um, looking within a lot. Um, stop following the crowd, always. Individuality is beautiful. And if you fail in something, listen, you're learning. If you don't fail in something, you don't really want to do it. How, look, how easy it would be someone to give you a million pounds right now and you would deprive you of your individuality and your your personal creativity. Well, of course, you could say, oh, I'll take the money over any other things. But if you think about it, you will lose yourself in the money. And all you will do, you will probably spend the money and you will end up in the same place. Just, just because you haven't gone through the... Uh, opportunity of uh, living the joys that you send yourself here to, to 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 live you know so you come here you you are here to have a beautiful experience but instead of having a beautiful experience you always um look on the um, the the side of the road that is no sun so personally i say forget about that part don't force it into forgetfulness, you know. All you have to do is have to look at it in, in uh, and I said this before, um, look at the bright side of the, the thing. Count your blessings, basically, you know, like, look at what you got, you know. It's beautiful weather outside. It's, it's amazing. The more you exercise, the, more, the better you eat, the, the more positive you feel. The only way, the only reason you're feeling negative, you, you you eat the wrong food, you spend time with the wrong people, you're watching the right new, the wrong news, you know. And I'll be honest, is um, you think that um, the only thing affecting you is the food, right? So you put a little bit of belly, you put a little bit of uh, cheeks, and um, there's nothing wrong with that, but you're feeling a little bit heavy, you're feeling a little bit more tired, and then you're feeling a little bit more negative, and then, and then you can't sleep at night, and then so on and so on, and they all get together. But that's just the beginning, you know? Your body is just an expression. It's just the out an expression. So it's just the physical expression of your inner feelings and thoughts. 
So I know, I know it sounds a lot, but that's the truth though. Because if you feel good on the inside, you start losing weight, you start exercising, you're eating a lot better, you're more positive, and you do prove me wrong. I would like you to prove me wrong. Right? Why don't you try it? Try it. Give yourself a couple of months. Train for a little bit. Eat better. Eat more fruits. Eat more veg. Meditate. Go out in the sun. Go for walks. Don't indulge in uh, pity conversations. Don't watch the news. Don't watch the media. Enjoy your time with loved ones and see where you get to, you know? And then you can come back in a couple of months and you can say to me, hey, do you know what? Mihai, um, he was actually right. Or you could come and say, I wasn't. Um, it doesn't really change my uh, belief, you know? Whenever you try something, you have to try it in the way of not to prove the person wrong, but to prove to yourself if uh, if that works, you know. And it's very, very important not to um, lie to yourself as a person. Don't book a comp or, or, or something with a person and then you don't show up, mm -hmm. you know. That's disrespectful to you. That's disrespectful to the person, you know. If someone gives you something for free, and you think it's worth it, say yes, and if you do, go and take it. You know, if you say no, it's acceptable again, and it would be no, no, no shame in that, you know. I know what we're doing here is, um, we're trying to convince you guys that there's a different method to the life that we are uh, normally brainwashed into. And uh, we're trying to uh, help you guys become individuals that you was meant to become. You know, without uh, without being aggressive and suppressive to the uh, society and the governments, because all they want us to do is become that, hate each other, hate um, um, hate yourself, basically. You know, that's how you start. You hate yourself because you can't hate anyone else if you don't hate yourself. You know, if you love yourself as a person, you will never hate anyone. You know, so I basically think that. You should love yourself. You should try and love yourself as much as you can. You should try and um, relax a little bit, you know. Stop stop uh, trying to prove to anyone, you know. It's not, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at the end of the day if you've done it or you didn't do it, you know. Do things for yourself, you know. You exercise and you eat well. You, you do it for yourself to feel good and enjoy the... The, the journey of life, you know, this is this is this is a beautiful dream, and you have to enjoy it. You know, the more poison you put inside, the, the harder it is for you to enjoy it. So all I'm saying is, is if someone says uh, something beautiful and and then it corresponds with your your inner beliefs, take it if it works for you. But if someone says something negative, you don't have to believe it. You don't have to take it into you. And also, since when we become uh, just overnight like this, we we just uh, give give our freedom, you know. We just give our freedom freely to anyone, you know. Like if anyone comes and says, "Ah, you know, I take your clothes off," you're just gonna do that, you know. You you have the right to say no. You have the right to say no. This is this is why, uh, unfortunately, two world wars happened, you know. So we get more enlightened obviously they had their own reason why they fought but i'm 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 me personally i'm hoping that we don't have to go through that again and and not just uh, a physical w war is um uh, money manipulative uh, war that we're going through so it's basically uh manipulated into what um we are, uh, we can stand up, I can see, you know. <laughs> uh, um, bless you. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to be um, undercover. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. All I'm saying is, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was a good one. Um, 
we are here to make a difference you know we are here to make a difference and and if we don't make a difference uh we haven't really made a change in this world we don't have to start with change in the world you know like uh, i keep saying I, I, i'm not the first person saying it i'm just uh quoting other people they said if you want to change the world change yourself you know you you, you can't help anyone outside of yourself without you being the person that you want to be without you coming out you go out for for a meeting a party drinks or whatever and as soon as as soon as people start measuring uh the size of their ego um you jump in or you might not jump in so if you're a confident person you would not need to jump in you know a confident person does never have anything to prove, you know, never has anything to prove a confident person. And if you have confidence, you have faith. And if you have faith, everything is beautiful for you, you know. If you come from a negative point, then you want to suppress and aggress all the other people around you. Not necessarily nations, other nations, but the people around you. All I'm trying to say here, we can become better people. And how do we become better people? It's by, by sharing love with other people you know we we what we want to start giving 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 the knowledge to the people is is if we go in the same circles you know same circles it doesn't help us you know of course it's not easy to 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 change a, a perception because look whatever everyone comes from a certain background they believe that that's how they meant to be so i am like this because i'm from there and there is no other way. That's how they, they, they see. So the, the, the brainwashing is so in depth that these people think that there is no other way in the world, you know? I tell you this, all we are, we're just garments. So the energy in the universe decided to go in different garments and live in a, in a, in a, harmonious well it's not very harmonious at the moment but it would be if we change uh dream you know this is the dream of life you know because it's you, you most of us don't really need, remember the the old uh, words like you would have a conversation with an older person they would say to you daydreaming you know they feel like they daydreaming you know and you would always think about what does that mean? It's just an expression. Ah, oh, I don't worry about them. They just don't. They just don't, don't know what they're talking about. Well, I can tell you that they they did knew what they were talking about. You know, we are daydreaming. We are daydreaming, right? So it's just a uh, a beautiful dream if we uh, if we make it right now. At this point, I probably lost some of you. I probably um earned some of you or gained other uh the point is this if you want to take control all over your life you have to start being so serious about it the more you think about the things you mess up with the less control you will have all right and how do you do that well, you have to stop saying things about other people, you know, because you think that other people have it easy, but they don't. Everyone has to go through the trial. It doesn't matter if you're rich or poor. They, we all go through depression. We all go through trials. We all go through this. True, rich people can afford to buy their food a lot easier, but we do live in a time that we can all afford to buy our food, right? And we also, the more we tend to think that we don't have money to buy food, the more we're going to attract not having money to buy food. So if we think health, we will get health. And I'm not the first person to say it, you know. The Bible says that 2,000 years ago. And I'm sure before the Bible, before they got the Bible together, the most small people, uh, apostles, or, or who they uh, wrote of the, all those 66 uh, books that are, uh, made the Bible. Um, they wrote that before the Bible was actually uh, brought together, right? And if you look 
uh, throughout the history of the uh, spirituality or whatever you want to call it, um, Buddhism, Hinduism, Sufism, and all of this um, isms, yeah, and interesting. They um, they were trying to tell us that um, look, all these um, isms are actually from the heart, you know, and. All there is out there is our own perception of this um, world, and and the, all they've done throughout the years, they were just trying to uh, make the knowledge to us in more of a modern, because we are modern at this time. But then, um, in twenty years from now, we're not going to be so modern, and then that time will be modern and in 50 years from now that time will be modern and in all these books they will have to evolve as well they will have to be translated some of the words will change and some of the behaviors and some of the understandings will change and and just because it changes in this part of the world in one way it doesn't mean that in the other part of the world it's not going to change in a different way so we have to keep in mind that the bible came to us from a different side of the world where they use a lot of exp expressions which we don't really use on this side of the world you know so a lot of them we might mean a different absolute different opposite poles you know basically what i'm trying to say is um if you would understand the real meaning of the message in the bible which uh, tells us that um Whatever we believe, you know, I'm sure we probably heard uh, this saying, whatever we believe, we can conceive, you know, whatever your mind can believe, you can uh, actually make a reality, you know. You would hear that a lot around the uh, people that actually work out a lot in, in these um, fighting gyms, you know. It's more common in these fighting gyms. I'm, I'm, I'm not too, like in competitive uh, sports is more common i don't understand why it's not common it should be this should be the first lesson to teach kids you know this should be the first lesson as soon as they start understanding things that's why you should tell them the first thing so you will teach them that whatever they think in their little hearts you know they will make reality for themselves and for people around them and like that they will start taking responsibilities for the tantrums they throw and then they they the aggressivity that they choose to go for, you know, if we, we if we choose to 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 open our minds to what to what we learn every day, unfortunately, it should be millions of people watching this uh, video, but they're waiting for me to die to make it um, super famous, you know, because uh, that's how it goes in this world. They have to make money, you know. Someone has to make money, so um, basically. What I'm saying is, if you change as a person, the way you think first, because you can't change, you just can't just do that, you know, like, you can only do it if you have the power in your mind, and if you have tried to stop thinking about certain things, or to stop talking about certain things, you will realize that it's not as easy as, as, as I'm saying it, it is, especially when you live with people in your house, you know, or, or, or people, you go to work and, have you ever stopped, ever start, <laughs> have you ever tried to uh, stop eating chocolate if you do eat chocolate, you know, have you ever tried that, it's not that easy, you know, and now I'm not saying you should stop eating chocolate, there's nothing wrong with chocolate. All I'm saying is, um, if you give yourself a little bit of um, encouragement every day, you wake up and you sit down and you clear your mind a little bit. And if you listen to your mind and your heart, 100% you will feel that you have a desire, you know, and that desire is, 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 is the biggest calling. Like some of us might want to buy something or achieve something in life or, or, or 
earn something or or change the way the place we live or change change the way we are as a, as people change the way we behave towards other people so that's that's a desire you know it's a, it's a wish to change but you really have to listen and, and, and really have to take the first thing you know that the real desire not the other ones because i'm sure most of us we want a lot of things in our in our life you know we want to change a lot of things we want to do a lot of things we might want a more expensive car apartment girlfriend or get married or whatever you want to guys do all i'm saying is you, you have to listen for that voice you know inside of you well, you have to try it. Look, it's, it's, it's not, you're not obligated by any law, but you can't uh, complain every day without trying. If you're here and you are here for a reason, and if you're not putting into practice what I'm telling you and you're still complaining, then you probably should give it a second thought and you should um, really try to look and see um, if it works, you know, that, that's the whole thing about it. You know, you, you, you want to see if it works, you want to, you want to push it to the next uh, level. You want to see what actually I am spending my free time telling you about, you know, because I could be doing something else right now, but I'm here telling you that there's another way to be happy. There's another way you can achieve your things. There's another way you can achieve your dreams. There's another way that you we can all together make this world a better place, right? So you have to do it now before they shut me out, right? So all I'm saying, sit down, close your eyes and relax and listen to your mind and listen to your heart. It would not be easy in the beginning. It would not be easy. But before you do that, all you have to do first is make sure that your body is immobilized and you're not moving, right? That's all you have to do first. You can either lie down, lay down on the sofa, or on a chair, sit relaxed, and, and, and try not to move first, and then be a witness of your thoughts. Be a witness of your feelings, right? And once you get a little bit of uh, confidence and a little bit of um, strength to control and direct your feelings and your thoughts, then you can start uh, changing a lot more things in your life. But for now, that's what you have to do. And that's what you have to do in the morning. And that's what you have to do also in the evening, you know. And before you go to sleep, you should always think positive things about yourself. And when you wake up, you should always think positive things about yourself. Don't tell me, oh, but I do, but my life is still like this, right? Because you probably do in the morning, and then two hours later, you go gossip about X, Y, and Z, and you say such horrible things, but you forget about them. And you think, oh, but I am positive. I give food to the poor. I do this and I do that two minutes, five minutes, and then the 99% uh, of your time, you go and do this and do that, right? Okay, if you have any personal uh, questions, uh, you can always um, send us a private message and um, ask us, you know. Um, if you don't really understand what I'm saying, again, send us a private message and ask what am I uh, what is my meaning behind all of this again before before I leave you guys all I could say is we all tried and we all try and we can continue to try as much as we can a lot of the times we fail and let me explain why we fail some of the times we doubt most of the times we doubt some of the times we change what we want to achieve and some of the times we don't uh, really believe that it's possible. Some of the times you're meant to fail because that's not the right 
uh, product that you're meant to be taken out. And uh, like any flower, any seed actually, you put it under the ground, it has to grow, right? So it doesn't just grow straight up. You'll have trouble, you know? So it has to go either left, right, back, forward, and, and so on. So like everything, we are um, making it a little bit more challenging. Um, most of the times it's because we don't really have uh, faith and belief in, in, uh, in what we want. And um, whatever we um, create today is also um, a reward of tomorrow. And then let's give you an example. Let's, let's say that I created today in my mind, I wanted my day to go this way. And then uh, uh, tomorrow again, I sit down and I and I see, so today I'm thinking about tomorrow being in a certain way. And then tomorrow morning again, I'm sitting and I'm thinking that the day is gonna go in the same certain way. But today, after I thought that tomorrow is going a certain way, after that I went and I've done other things and and not stayed faithful to what I thought. And then I expect tomorrow to go in a certain way. And then I, again, I sit down in the morning and I believe that today is gonna go in a certain way. But of course, I'm gonna collect, I'm, I'm gonna, collect the rewards, the, 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 the fruit of the seeds that I planted today, right? Because that's why it works, you know? We're always complaining right now about the things that is happening to us. Why is this happening to me? What did I do? What did I do? And so on. And we always blame X, Y, and Z, right? Well, the only thing you're doing, you're collecting the rewards, collecting the fruits of uh, the seed that you planted yesterday. So if today you're not happy with the seeds that you're collecting, you go down this evening and you visualize that you collected the seeds that you was planted, right? So um, if tomorrow again, you sat down and you didn't collect them, you go in the, before you go to bed and you think about the things that you really wanted to and change them, right? Don't accept things as they come. But you have to be truthful to what you want. Because if you listen to me right now and you say, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're absolutely right, you're completely right, 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 right? And then we switch off this video and then you're gonna go your way and you're gonna go, oh, that guy don't know what he's talking about. Or, oh, oh, this and that and this and that, it doesn't work. Or the government, this, the system, that, right? That's complaining. Right, so you, you can't have um, um, old wine in uh, new bottles, right? That's what Neville Goddard says. You can't have old wine in new bottles, right? And also um, in the Bible, it says uh, you have to be born again from above, and to be born again from above, you, ha you have to let go of the older person, which is that self that you don't really appreciate and you don't really want to be and you have to let this new self uh, um, awaken and, and manifest in your world right i know it's a lot of talk a lot of what i'm saying is uh, uh psychological a lot of uh, is um, spirituality More, uh, it is spirituality not a lot of it most of it it's uh, metaphysics and is the real uh, truth. I can tell you personally, I used to be a Christian, Christian Orthodox. I used to believe in uh, Jesus Christ outside of me. And I've read the Quran, I've read uh, Gandhi's books, I read um, Orso's books, I've listened to plenty of Orso's books and I've uh, done a lot of reading, a lot of reading about um, uh, this. I've read the Bible a couple of times, I'm still reading the Bible. And then finally, I'm understanding the Bible right now. And all I'm saying to you guys is, the only way to become a better person is love yourself, love your neighbor, you know? 
if you want to be a better person, you have to stop treating people negatively. You have to stop thinking of people in a bad way. You have to look at things in a better way. You know, you can't be going on the street seeing someone happening something to someone and say, yeah, he must have done something. He deserves that. He deserves that. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's not like that. No. If you if you want to help, go help. If no, keep your mouth shut and go your way. You know, you got you got plenty of things to worry by yourself. You know, and and that's why that's why I'm saying you got plenty of things you worry by yourself. You should start by uh, being a witness of what you're thinking, of what you're feeling, and and take notes and start uh, changing by instead of uh, thinking or feeling negatively, uh, you should start feeling positive, you know, you should start uh, adding new uh, good things to you. And if you think all I'm saying and all I'm teaching you guys is um, reteaching you is uh, easy, well, I can't wait for your messages. But right. anyway, guys, it's been a blessing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it. Um, I wish you well. Let me see if I can switch this up. I do want to do it. Go for it. All the best, guys. Stay happy. I wish you well.